Um, but yeah, PA Radiant team maybe back. forces the Life Dealer to go for an MKB as well as maybe if he wants the Radiant as well. And the Phantom Assassin can pick up an MKB without having to pick up a dodge item because she already has the built-in dodge. It is ridiculous as well as being able to pop it. Just farm creeps. Yeah, okay. That isn't broken. Just tied onto the fourth pickup by Pavarga. Beastmaster, the fourth by Pango. Pugna, not going to be picked by Pango. It's actually going to be banned by Pango and Pavarga. Not going to be able to pick the Pugna either. The what, what do Pavarga want to ban here, though? What do they think's coming up? Mid lane hero? Potentially. The Dazzle's already been out, so we're not going to be seeing the Dazzle in the mid lane remaining. once again. Huskar's being taken out there as well. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. The saw the final one by Pavaga and they pick up the Dragon Knight. How do Pango respond to this? How do they respond? As Pango, final pick, a minute and 15 seconds left on the reserve. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Just going to be dipping into the reserve time. They've got time to think about this to just come up. I mean, Pango want to win this, so they're going to be taking as much time as they need to really think about this final pick, this mid lane pick up against the DK. And for the life of me, I couldn't tell you what they'd use with the Huskar being banned. So Pavarga of the full lineup, just waiting for Pango to think about this final hero. Let's take a look at the heroes they could potentially pick. Well, the Razor's been banned, so no Razor. Um, okay, we don't need to look at any heroes because they're going to pick up the Necrophos. So, Naive's going to be on the Phantom Assassin. Got Ghostic on the Beastmaster, it's going to be Zayak on the Shadow Demon, just waiting for Sailor to pick up his Necrophos. And Jakiro will be played by Slayer once again. As Bignum takes up the Elder Titan, Palintimos on the Lifestealer, J4 on the Lion. Cheshire Cat playing the Tidehunter and Pikachu in the mid with the Dragon Knight. seconds remaining so this is going to be game two between Five pango and pavaga pavaga need this to stay in pango win this they go through to the lower brackets pavaga can these can he keep themselves in the game or will we see them crash out there's no juggernaut but it is a pa that they're up against And once the reserve time's over, I think the teams are just paused. Hopefully it won't take us too long to get into this. Any second now, we're going to be getting ourselves into the second game. And it's going to be 
<laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah, so Pango wanna close this one out. They don't wanna be slipping up, making any mistakes, and Pavaga, they need this to stay alive. Pikachu with the good look. Prepare for battle. <laughs> Surprise. Is this Get off my lawn? It's gonna be a mid PA. Breathe it oh. in. Okay. Up against the DK. <laughs> hmm. We're going to see an aggro tri lane coming up from Pavaga once again as well. This time with the life stealer. While the tide hunter just going to be the solo safe lane. This could be big up against the Necrophos. If they can close him out one or two times, you know, get a few levels onto Palintimos and then Bignum and J4 can start rotating. Or maybe they re rotate this. Yeah, it looks like the. Did they have vision on this? Did they see this? I think they just saw. Well, they see J4 now. And I think through those little specks of vision, they may have just seen the lifestealer come up. So they are swapping these lanes around. Jakiro as well as the Beastmaster rotating down to the bot. And Shadow Demon and Sailor and the Necroforce rotating top. Zarek, though, will be picking up this first rune. No doubt about it. Yes, on Eve. Picking up that level 1 dagger. Man, everyone has their own little dance tunes now. Lion has one. Brewmaster has one. PA has one. Pretty sure Nature's Prophet has one. It's like a right old little rave, isn't it? Some private discos going on. But you know what it needs? It needs a banging donk on it. For anyone in England that might get that. Um, so yeah, Pikachu going to be coming up with this Breathe Fire. So he's got the 25% damage reduction. So that's going to be harder for Naive to, to right click here. Bottom lane. And it is going to be the tri lane up against the Beastmaster as well as the Jakira. Wonder whether they're going to try and swap these lanes around. Or whether they just keep them as is. Denied. But Cheshire Cat swims himself towards the creeps. He has got the Anchor Smash level 1, but he is up against two ranged heroes, so I'm not sure how much he's going to be able to throw this out. He actually hit Sailor, though, with the Anchor Smash. Whose uh, attack range isn't the biggest in the world. It's not about the size of the attack range, it's about how you use it. Pikachu just uh, looking for that deny, but he's not going to be able to... Naive gets it with a dagger into a right click. And able to play... Pick up that last right click there on that creep. Pikachu though is a little bit ahead. 10 to 0 for 6 to 0, 7 to 0 of Naive. But he's taken a whole load of damage. Pikachu is just going to stand up. He's got 1 point into the Dragon's Blood, 2 into the Breathe Fire, and the Breathe Fire damage. 170 damage coming out before damage reduction onto a Phantom Assassin that has 720 health. That is so much damage onto a hero that's not really that. I mean, yet yeah, only um, what's that? 80 behind the, the Dragonite in terms of HP. But you've got to look at the regen. Pikachu's is nearly, I think it's over triple actually. It's nearly quadruple. Or maybe it's just nearly triple of the PA. Meanwhile, we're going to see another spike coming out. There's going to be the open wins on Ghostic now as well. It's going to be something to try and get this. He might actually be able to get this just because Bignum. Now, Pango, Ghostic. He's just able to move himself back, salve himself up and move himself away. Slayer though is going to be taking a whole load of frost there as well. J4 takes a liquid fire for his troubles. Meanwhile back in the mid lane. Yeah, Pikachu, he's got this burst damage coming up from the Breathe Fire where Naive really doesn't have any burst damage at all. Does have the blur now to try and dodge off a couple of right clicks coming up from Pikachu. But we'll have to see how that plays out. Shadow Demon still trying to mess around with Cheshire Cat. Just putting the poison on him, chasing him away. Does he want to carry on going? This is underneath a tier 1 tower, Zayak. 
Salves himself up, will be healthy. And Cheshire Cat, yeah, needs to hang himself back because of these poisons. He's going to be able to salve himself back healthily. No, PA is starting to catch up on these light last last hits again. So only four behind the DK. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Bottom lane. Slayer and Ghost Stick still up against Palintimos. It looks like J4. Is he going to try and pull this? Well, it's going to be blocked by the Hawk several times. So J4, oh, Zayak gets the kill onto the Titans, I'm assuming, with the poisons. Disruption skilled up, but I don't think it was used. Let's take a look at the Titan's death. Oh, we're taking a little time. Naive. Does he have the movement speed of the DK? I don't think he does. 30 slower than the DK, so the DK picks up a double damage. And a double damage DK is pretty bad for the PA. Does he have the stun as well? He does have the stun. Oh, Pikachu. Just play himself so close. Might actually go for this. The evade comes out, though. The fortification onto the... Well, me want bottom lane. It looks like they're going to try and go for the J4. J4's going to be thrown out. The Hex. They take down the Jakiro. Ghost it doesn't have the axes. Will still get the kill onto J4. As Palintimos takes down Slayer. And now Ghost Dick just needs to get himself through the trees. Looking for the body blocks with the ball. Slayer has TP'd himself into the mid lane. Did the dragon go into Pikachu? Pikachu is super tanky, though. So I don't think they get this, though. The chase is on Tide Hunter in trouble. As it looks like Sailor as well as Zayek. What are we going through the trees to catch this? Zayek gets it with more poison. And nothing that the Tide Hunter could do for that. But it's going to be all four bounty runes going the way of Pavaga. Which isn't too bad. Naive. Phase boots queued up as well. J4 is looking for a rotation in, but Naive playing it safe. He's in the jungle and they don't have any vision on this. So I'm pretty sure they don't have any vision on this either. Either. Sailor. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Oh, now they might try. Yeah, the dragon tail does come up with the stone. Is there going to be another spike to follow up? Well, the hex is there to start off with. Even Bigman rotating in here. Is there going to be a disruption in time? It looks like Naive going to be able to get the blur away. Can he run himself away fast enough, though? The one more right click and Bigman will pick it with the spirit. But now, mid lane, there's going to be the banish into the dual breath. And Pikachu is going to be dragging on dragon action. Pikachu is going to be able to get himself away from this with the disruption damage coming through as well as the Jakiro damage. It looks like Pikachu is going to be able to maybe try and turn this one around. Go back onto Slay. The stomp comes out. One more right click. Pikachu picks it up. And all of a sudden, Pavaga in the kill lead. A Pikachu looking for this tier 1 tower in the mid lane as well. Naive is level 6 though, so those crits can start coming out. Pikachu, 2 points into the dragon blood though, so that's an extra 6 armor. And Naive, not opted for a blightstone or anything like that, just for the two wraith bands into the phase boots. Pikachu, well the, the breath comes out from Pikachu, are they going to be able to slow him down enough to do enough damage on it, the banish comes through, it's going to be another poison over the top now as well, Pikachu, though no, dual breath as well, one more right click, the dragon tail stun, so naive, just needs to run himself away, takes a couple of tower shots, couldn't get the last right click because of that dragon tail and now J4 spotted out as well, Earth spike J4. Can he run himself away? <laughs> oh, the neutrals with a little bit of a body block there onto Zayak. And no rotation here from Cheshire Cat. What? Well, Sailor, sorry. So, they could carry on chasing him down. Five points of the poison. J4 gets awfully, awfully low. One more. It's not going to be enough after this was off, though. Yeah, Zayak just wants to go back. Put the pressure back onto Cheshire Cat. As now Pikachu rotates down, they want this early map control, they want to be taking farm away from the side of Pango, they want to be ta taking it and putting it on the um, third course. It's Pikachu, they're looking to push this through, this is going to be an infest bomb just to get Palinta most healthy. Not sure what that line's for, but Slayer stunned up before he can get the ice path off. Ghost to Curve, they're going to be able to chase him down, no roar available. 
And Sailor now as well, the Stomp sleeps up the Necrofoss. Sayak just still looking to trade poisons. And now J4, only level 3. So no ultimate for him, no finger on the PA just yet. Ghostic TPs himself up to the top lane. He's got three points into the balls, two points into the inner boost now as well. Close, close to the roar. Phantom Assassin. Are these the phase boots? It is the phase boots. Going into the Battle Fury. And not really being contested on farm. J4 is just hanging around to try and find some experience here. He's going to get a little bit of a free lane now. Oh, it looks like it could be a gank on the top lane. The, the Dragon Knight. Well, the Dragon Formula is up in the next 27 seconds. He didn't take the tier 1 tower on the bot lane. Then the stump comes through. It's just going to be onto the balls. Excuse me, onto the balls. But Ghostic. Yeah, they want to farm these up. They give it to Cheshire Cat. And now they find out Zayek. Zayek gets the banishment onto the... Onto Bigna. Hey lane. PA can't really dive because there's two points into the Hex, two points into the Earth Spike. So he can't get caught out too far. Because that would allow time for the TPs to come in. And it could be the rotation of Earth Spike off the mark though. You open it to the top lane. Pikachu being poisoned. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Money changes hands. Oh, a cane room being picked up by Phantom Dyer's Assassin. Yep, so just uses the blood, just goes in and starts to farm up these ancient creeps. This is really good. It's. What is the cooldown on that? 25 Dyer's seconds. Pikachu popped the dragon form as well, it's three quarters of the way through. I'm not able to get a tower out of that, it still stood 444 health. And maybe now even the rotation of the blur, they're not going to be seeing this, well they are going to be seeing this as the blur wears off. It's a really deep ward to see any rotations through on the side of the Radiant. J4 so close to that level 6 now, he can taste it, he can get it with a Tome of Knowledge. My gratitude. And there it is. We might even see a rotation for the first finger of the game. Radiant. Oh, the scan comes out. Oh, they know this hero's missing. So Sailor will just be able to back himself into the trees, TP himself out, maybe. As meanwhile, top lane. Ghostic now does have the roar. And there's the gank in the mid lane. Pretty good to the side of Pango here. Five for five. They even this up. They've got a little bit of a net worth advantage. Let's say they want to try and maybe push this top lane. Maybe even with a level eight onto Sailor as well as the roar. Maybe go on to Cheshire Cat if he comes too far forward. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, looks like we're going to try and trade these towers, but Pikachu with the Dragon Form, it's only just been popped. He's able to take this tier 1 tower, but... So naive. Gonna be able to get himself close. In fact, one more right click from anybody, from on any creeps. Any enemy creeps, I'd say. And he is going to be able to get himself the Demon Edge. Maybe if he even sells one of these Wraith Bands, maybe the Quantum Blade. Meanwhile, Pango top lane they do get themselves a tier one and I just gonna back themselves off from this oh we actually bench the uh the stout shield fair enough that is a deep rotation and J4 just wants to finger somebody finger anybody and start stacking this up. He might get his chance here. Oh, the ice path. They see him. The dagger flies through as well. The jump on from Naive. He's getting hexed. Does he have the damage? Will he burn down to the dual breath? Slayer secures it with the right click anyway. And they ping out this ward. Yeah, 
Alright, Slayer. That's a good D ward. Meanwhile, in the Radiant Jungle, the TPs are going to be coming in. It's going to take they're going to be able to maybe catch up to Pikachu. He's going to be slowed with the Purge, the Disruption, and the Poison stacking him up. Ghostic still has this roar if he needs to use it. Palintimus just looks on and says, you know what, mate? You are on your own. And Necro steals it with the Scythe. Sorry, secures it with the Scythe. It's not a steal when it's not a pub game. I always forget this holy locket and the uh, the ring of Tarask is in the game. Oh. Thank you, Artifact, for the at least one contribution to Dota. No, Artifact's a good game and every sh everyone should go play it. Naive. Close now to finishing off that Battle Fury. 14 minutes in with two Wraith Bands, a Quelling Blade as well as Phase Boots as, as well. Um, yeah, that's actually really good timing. This is going to be like a 16 minute Battle Fury. Of the gang train once again. Slayer though, just narrowly avoids it. Phantom Assassin. Oh, they see it. Yeah, this should be. Well, the stomp comes through now as well. The finger should be there to finish this off. Will it be there though? J4, the ice pass comes through. J4 is going to be moving off the market. He's not actually going to go off the finger to finish that off. The dagger flies through. Naive wants to go one more right click. Gets the crit, gets the kill. And now the chase onto Pikachu. Pikachu is going to be slowed down. The poison comes out. Even the raw being used here now as well. Sailor doesn't have the scythe for another 17 seconds. But Pikachu, this should be enough damage to finish off the Dragon Knight and slay him. And Zayak does take him down in the end. Sailor, he's got the Ring of Tarask. Looking for the push into the tier 1 tower in the mid lane. Meanwhile, Zayak. Gonna be throwing the poison out onto Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat just needs to run himself away or swim himself away. But now with the Battle of Fury up onto Naive, this means his farm is just gonna explode. In fact, even hitting the creep behind though with the Battle of Fury comes in. Just going to be using the uh, the blur for his own safety, just to do a little bit of scouting. So Slayer. Oh, Marco Pi being dropped, but the Ice Path was off the mark. These creeps will be killed off quite contently though by Slayer. You know, Silver Linings, he got a little bit of fun for that macro pyre. It's not like it's the longest cooldown in the world as well, 60 seconds, are you joking me? Use that every two creep waves, just farm that up. Oh, the Sea Cheshire Cat Chesh. he just goes north though, I think avoids them. He might be coming right back up onto the Beastmaster, he does. Was the Ice Path actually on? It's onto nobody. And now they know where Cheshire Cat is, do they carry on fighting this? It looks like Naive just wants to move himself back. Oh, the stun, the blink from the Dragon Knight. Are they going to be able to do anything with this? Naive, can he get himself away? He's just going to be able to run himself away with the phase boots. And Lion was not in there in time for the Hex. Yeah, and then the blink away from the Phantom Assassin. Zayat getting brave, though. Oh, yeah, Magrapai has dropped the Ice Path once again, though. Doesn't land onto Cheshire Cat. He walks himself back into it. Of course, just to show how tanky he is, how strong he is, I guess, with that 1.6k health. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh my, naive. So close to the BKB. I know we've not been paying attention to Palintimos as well. He's about, what's that, 150 gold, 130 gold away from having the full radiance. So maybe then that it means PA does need to go back for the MKB. Or something similar. But yeah, Palintimus is having a nice quiet game which will suit him while he gets the farm. This is going to be a nice 19 minute, well, a minute and a half 
no courier. But when it is back up or when he goes back to base, that is a full radiance. In fact, he drops it. And he's going to make Bignum courier in. So the living... I suppose all couriers are living. The player courier here. Yeah, pick all of those items Dyer's up. Bring them to us. So now... Slayer, J4. Yep, yeah, Radiance is... Oh, Ice Path! I don't know why you stood that J4. Just admiring the view. Ghostic though does have the raw, the follow up. There's going to be the Necro as well as the PA rotating in. Are they going to try and go for this? Being slowed down, Cheshire Cat pops the pipe. And now the dagger flies through, but there's going to be the first bomb. Necro is going to be able to get himself away from this. The Ravage being thrown out, and Palentimos will be able to secure the kill onto Sailor. Pavaga just slowing this game down, which they like. It means that the PA can't get in, can't get kills. The Necrophos can't find them either. Though, Phantom Assassin. What is that? About a thousand gold away from a BKB with a Battle Fury. That's going to take all the 30 seconds to do. So now Pavaga, are they going to try and take a team fight here? Palintimos is going to get disrupted up though, the Pikachu walks into the ice path and now over the top of it the road comes through, are they going to try and make a dive cap and onto the lifesteal here now as well with that Radiance Burn, the Reaper side comes out, not going to be effective with the Rage and now they're going to try and chase down Ghostic, at least Lifestealer is there as well, Naive does take down J4 on the back line, so they chase it onto Pikachu, it looks like Ghostic might be taken down here, can he get another Infest Bomb, Ghostic, he's going to be right clicked down, Palintimos is going to be able to secure that killer, another disruption comes out though, onto the Dragon Knight, they are going to be able to find this, the Ice Path latches onto Cheshire Cat, the Rage out, Palintimos Slayer has been taken down, they try and move over to Naive, Sailor's going to be coming through trying to scout this one out trying to find at least big and then the dagger flies through onto plinth must have blinked forward now as well by the pa open wounds comes out it's gonna be the gush that's gonna slow him down as well but disruption sailors here he's already thrown out that but it doesn't matter the dagger naive is gonna be able to die for to secure the kill and now cheshire cat lol it's gonna be J4 coming back into the fight as well. Do they want to carry on going on to this? It looks like Zyx is going to TP himself away as Naive carries on going. BKB has been bought up, flying out, and Desolator has been started. Three for two. And Pango come out on top of that in favour of this should make my life taking easier. down Palintimos. And Beastmaster, he's got himself the Vanguard. Maybe he goes for the Crimson Guard later on, but just opting for that four stuff. So it looks like Pango. Oh, excuse me, just choking on my water. I want to be going into the Roshan pit. They are going to be able to find this pretty damn quickly. The scan comes out. There's going to be the rotation over, maybe from the side of Pavaga, but it's too late. Roshan is already going to be close to be finished off. The stump, are they going to be able to get it in time? 800, 700, 600. Have the blink in the ice path, though. Palintimos, the BK comes off naive, he's going to be able to pick up the Aegis, he's going to be able to pick up a kill onto J4 now as well, the Earth Splitter comes through, but it doesn't do enough damage, naive just going to the right click, the Reaper's scythe, they kill off Palintimos once again, Cheshire Cat works himself into the Ice Path and now naive up onto the high ground, wants to carry on going, the Stomp comes off, it catches too, but Pango, naive, do you want to try and fight this out, Cheshire Cat, Zayek takes down Pikachu on the back lines and blink forward by naive, dagger in one second to slow Cheshire Cat down, the poison coming through now as well, Anchor Smash does not matter when you crit, for plus 450 damage. Naive. Getting real close to that desolator. Getting real close to ending the game here. But Pango. Just taking everything in the stride. Taking it on top 16 to 9. A 12k net worth advantage. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. 
Naive wants to carry on going on this high ground with the rest of his team. No buyback for Palentima, so he's down for 20 seconds. The stomp slows this one down. Even the Holy Locket coming out for the Necrophos. But that's going to be tier 3 tower. Did they carry on going? I think they can get a Rax out of this, even with the Titan to TP him in. He doesn't have the Ravage. The Ice Path is going to be the Naive. Maybe he tries to dive the back lines. The Dagger comes out to Cheshire Cat as well. Pipe's going to be there. Doesn't have a Reaper Scythe though, Necrophos. And now, yeah, it looks like he might. Well, there's still the Aegis onto the Phantom Assassin. Did he try and make something happen here? The roar comes out. Pango, just turn it. And the damage comes out. They take down Palinsimus once again. Titan to Bides back. But, oh my, somebody find a fat lady because I think this one is over. PA, what a hero. 16k net worth lead, 24 minutes into the game, 19 to 9. Pango just absolutely dominating this game. Nothing that Pavaga can do apart from watch this Rax fall. Dyer's middle barracks has fallen. Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. Yeah, they move off to the shrine. But they can just go tier twos, take these last tier twos. With the Aegis still being up as well, that did not pop. Maybe wait 15 seconds for the BKB and make another push at high ground. Maybe take a second lane of Rax. Desolator finish for the Phantom Assassin now as well. Going straight for that Abyssal. Buyback be damned. But Pavaga. They need to take a fight, but if they lose this, let's take a look at the buybacks. Ooh, not a whole lot left. Oh yeah, it's gonna be it's actually gonna be the Necrophos that they find here, but the roar comes out. Is Necrophos gonna be able to get himself out of this, heal himself up? Maybe the Ravage will fly through. Hits onto pretty much everyone on the side of Pango, but it's already gonna be the lion down. The Reaper side flies through now as well. Palentimos is down. GG. Yeah, I think that's J4 calling GG, right? Yeah. Everybody quits. Pavaga. Unfortunately drop out. Pango move on, survive another day, at least till tomorrow. 25 minutes and a half in, Pango, no stopping them. So that is going to be me for the day, we're going to be back tomorrow with a couple more CIS games. But for now we're going to go to the splash screen, play some adverts, which everyone, I know everyone's dying to see after that end of that game. And we'll be back tomorrow. I've been Robin Roll Gaming. If you want to follow me on Twitch and or Twitter, it is at Robin Roll Gaming, which is R O B N R O L L G A M I N G. And uh, any followers are appreciated. But for now, I say goodbye and we'll see you tomorrow.